From FNNO.com, this is the Financial News Network. I'm Chuck Pierce. Here's a few things to watch for in the financial world today, August 10th. J.C. Penney struggling with its restructuring plan after posting dismal second quarter results. The department store chain reported a net loss of 37 cents per share, wider than the street's expected loss of 14 cents. Investors are worried Ron Johnson, J.C. Penney's new CEO, who joined the company in November, doesn't have a clue what he's doing. But the former Apple retail chief believes in his new model for the company, saying there in their statement, quote, the transition from a highly promotional business model to one based on everyday value will take time and we will stay the course. It will be interesting what JCPenney will do to cover this wider than expected loss. Goldman Sachs is off the hook. Yesterday, the Justice Department said it won't prosecute the company or its employees for allegations of selling risky securities to investors. The DOJ determined there was no credible evidence that the bank did anything wrong. The Senate panel that made the allegations said their actions were a big part of causing the 2008 financial crisis. But no charges will be filed unless the Justice Department finds more evidence to prosecute. Finally, Fusion I.O. is popular among traders this morning. The hard drive and software maker announced it expects revenue to grow between 45 and 50 percent in fiscal 2013, coming out to $521 to $539 million for the year. Fusion I.O. believes more demand for its products will bring out this exceptional growth. Four brokerage firms already raised their price targets on the stock, and the company's shares are poised to go up 25 percent or more on the day. Those were a few things to watch out for here on the Financial News Network. For more coverage and analysis of the business world, follow us on Twitter at FNN Online or check out our website at FNNO.com.